Dr. Amber McKnight is joining us this holiday season from Sim Simco Optometrics, uh, the Colburn Street. Um, how are you? I'm great. How are you doing, Dave? Wonderful. I wanted to get, um, let's get the Christmas stuff out of the way first. Um, any special time hours? What do I need to know if I want to get in to see you? Yeah, well, we're open as much as we can be over the holidays. Uh, we're open on Saturdays through the winter, but we are closing uh, the Saturdays over the Christmas break. But uh, lots of times during the week, we're now open till 7 p.m. on Wednesday nights. So uh, Christmas break, great time for students, especially students home visiting from college, university. If you're due for an appointment, give us a shout, email us or uh, call us. We'll get you booked over the Christmas break. Still uh, a few appointment slots left, but they do fill fast. So don't hesitate to be in touch. It's that time of year, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, my question today surrounds um, night driving because we just switched the clocks and I'm, I'm aging. I hate driving <laughs> at night and it's a struggle. I mean, I have glasses. I wear them. I know that. But it's just the bright lights and all that it just really bothers me. Um, when do I need to double check that I don't need a stronger lens? And what can you tell me about night driving? What, what advice can you give? Uh, yeah, well, it's a good topic and timely now that it's dark pretty early. Most of us commuting home from work now, it's, it's in the dark with the time change and, uh, you know, the less light uh, during the winter. So this is a pretty common problem. This is something I hear from a lot of people, trouble driving at night. Uh, but again, hard to avoid this time of year. Uh, number one tip, I would say, or kind of simple things that you can do to make sure uh, you have the best visibility possible. Make sure the inside of your windshield is really clean. That's something that during, it sounds silly, I know, but during the day, you won't notice it. But at nighttime, a lot of extra glare comes off the front and back surface of the windshield if it's not clean. So a good idea to weekly. So Dave, maybe you just need to up your car maintenance a little bit. Get out there, clean, probably what clean the is. inside and outside your windshield. Um, make sure your headlights are working um, and turn your dash lights down if you can, your uh, display in, inside the car, that'll help. Uh, but yeah, if you still find you're squinting or having a lot of trouble with oncoming headlights, good idea to come in, see your eye doctor, get your prescription updated. Uh, even small changes in your prescription, you might not have trouble during the day, but as soon as you get behind the wheel, you might notice that it's, you're just not seeing like you should be. So it sounds like you might be due for an eye exam. <laughs> there it is, Dr. It McKnight, is. Making, clear, making it clear to me that clean the inside of your windshield. You, obviously, she's seen my vehicle, folks. I don't know where, but and probably clean the glasses. Wouldn't hurt either, would it? No, it's, it's um, true. Yeah, it's true. Make sure and you meant, that sounds silly, but make sure your glasses are clean. Um, you touch them every day, right? So they get they get smudgy. Um, a microfiber cloth and a, a bottle of spray, eyeglass spray. Um, if you don't have something like that, you can pop in and pick it up at our office. But uh, yeah, I'd wipe, just wipe your glasses down before you drive. And it gets to that point too, like you said, as you age, um, there's probably certain increments that it goes in where your vision starts to slowly wean off. And I think it's really hard for a male, I don't know if it's the same for females, to admit that your vision's starting to get really weak, right? We, we struggle because it's you're giving up something, it seems. But Honestly, when you get the glasses that fit right or they work better or contacts, it's such a relief. Yeah. No, it's it's true. I mean, it's it's women too. It's it's all of us. You know, we don't oh, like to good. admit when Thank our goodness. eyes are maybe failing. But uh yeah, I mean driving difficulty driving at night um can be an early warning sign of something like cataracts or glaucoma. So also a good thing to get checked. Um and talk to your eye doctor if you do have trouble driving at night. Um there's some specific eyeglass lenses and specific coatings that are designed for night driving and for optimizing your driving vision. So yeah, um, if your optometrist isn't already asking, let them know that uh, you're having trouble driving at night. Uh, it's an unavoidable scenario that we need to go through to get from point A to point B after dark. So yeah, make sure you're doing all you can to make that easiest on yourself. Hey, do you guys offer like gift certificates? I'm just wondering for Christmas because it seems like my daughter's always changing frames. Like, is, that, <laughs> is that something... Uh, yeah, for sure. We can we can make you a gift certificate um, for the office. That's no problem. Uh, there's a lot of great options to in office. Uh, you know, if you're looking for stocking stuffers, we've got lots of great um, eyeglass and sunglass cases and eyeglass, again, cleaners, eye drops, um, even non prescription sunglasses are a great option for for a Christmas gift for someone or a gift certificate for non prescription sunglasses. Uh, yeah, just give us a call or drop by the office and we'll we'll set you up. 
should you want to drop any hints to Murray, your husband, that we can just leave on the podcast about what you're looking for this year? I mean, outside of the, you know, I'm just trying, just trying to help. Just yeah, trying to be nice, help. Murray's a, nice a good pair, guy. Nice pair of Oakley sunglasses. They're always, uh, oh, you know, nice under the tree. Yeah. Maybe some nice, uh, nice Ray-Bans. <laughs> and if Murray doesn't, Santa will take care of it, I'm sure. Um, speaking of which, you guys got some season greetings. I know you and your staff. Oh, actually, you got a new employee, don't you? I heard something about this. Oh, can you, can yeah. you do a so follow-up? We, um, we have a new optometrist that's joined us over the last uh, few months, Dr. Caitlin Sinclair. Um, she's, she's excellent. She's got a few years of experience under her belt. Um, very knowledgeable, very friendly, very personable. If you're looking for a new optometrist, um, she takes excellent care of her patients. We're just really so happy to have her working with us and uh, uh, looking forward to seeing more of her around the office. But uh, yeah, give us a call. She's accepting new patients. Excellent. Um, so season's greetings, you guys. You, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm giving you that opportunity. <laughs> well, from on behalf of myself and all the optometrists and staff uh, at Simcoe Optometric Clinic, we just wish uh, Everyone, a really Merry Christmas, a Happy Holiday Season. Um, stay safe out there. Take care of your eyes. Wear your sunglasses, even though it's winter. Um, and we're we're here for all you and your family's eye care needs anytime. Awesome. Is there is there an emergency number if they needed to get a hold of somebody? I'm just uh, your yeah. Your best option is to call us at five one nine four two six three one two three. Uh, it, the machine doesn't take messages. So if you wanted to leave a message after hours, you can message us through uh, Facebook or through Google or send us an email. Uh, best would be soc at simcooptometrist.com. Great. Hey, happy holidays to you and your family, okay? Merry Christmas to you, Dave. <laughs>